business is my business. Where we are thinking about business, I am very, very open to see how we are able to support men and women. Of course, I'm a pro woman, but I want to say this, without a man, women, we are nothing. So men, I want to ask you to support women. We need your support. I want to tell you, if you want girls in football, you have to convince the men to let their girls be supporting you. If you do that, it will happen. If you convince a man to support a woman, the woman will go more places than she would go. And there is more courage you get in your ears. And I always tell people that for me, I'm who I am today because of my father. Because my father did a step ahead to believe in me and support me. I have shared my story all the time of how my father supported me to be a leader at 18 years. Instead of him standing, my father took the courage to say, I will not stand, even when he was the vice chairperson of the OC where he was coming from. But he said, my daughter of 18 years will stand and lead you. And I had to stand. Even when I stood, it wasn't easy. Because there were so many people, I was 18 years, and my competitor, one was 45 and one was 56. But I was standing, and my father said, you can be able to stand. And I do remember, how he prepared me to do my first rehearsal to speak to the public. It wasn't so easy for me, but because I always, he used to tell me, it doesn't matter, I know you're small. And I was really small. But he said, you, are, you will do it. I am going to campaign for you. And indeed he did. I went and stood, because they wanted a chairperson of a very, it was almost like FIFA, something big. It had all, almost a thousand members. And I stood, I went and stood. Unfortunately, when I stood and campaigned, I did not win. Somebody else won, but I was number two. And still my father, I remember he looked into my face and he said, I am proud of you. What you've done, I am proud. And still, he said, there are other options. They were selecting other committees. So my father still stood and told me, please go and stand for those other committees. They wanted to remember us. And I said, but dad, I can't do it. They have rejected me. He said, please go and stand. So I went back and stood for that, for that, for that particular committee. Unfortunately, they still did not give me. Even when I told them that the children are the future, they didn't, they didn't give me. So there was one last committee that was looking at audits. But still my father told me, do not give up my girl. You are my girl, stand up, go. Go and campaign, you'll make it. He told me, remind them, you're going to be a strong woman in this country. Remind them you're going to go to university. Remind them you're going to be a great accountant. And I still had the courage to go and stand. And I campaigned, and I told them, please give me a chance to be your leader. Give me a chance, I'm going to be a leader, I'm going to make it, I'm going to do this. Fortunately, they appointed me on that particular committee. And my father was extremely very proud of me. To cut the story short, when we started that particular organization, which was spearheaded by the European Union and Planet, they were funding it. They wanted a manager for this particular facility. And the guy that wanted to be the chairman was interested in being a manager. So he resigned and became the manager. Who became the chairman? Ladies and gentlemen, I became the chairman. Remember, I was number two. Remember when I lost? But I was number two. All right? So I became the chairman of that particular organization. My career did not go back from that. But to tell you the story, I wanted to share with you the power of a man in the life of a young girl. That some of these girls, all they need is that voice from a man, a voice from a good husband, a voice from a brother, a voice from a good cousin that is able to say you can make it. Sometimes this is what we need. A number of women, why we can't venture into those hard sectors like construction, engineering, is because we need that voice. So I want to talk to you today, men that are here, be the voice that can change women in this country. Being empowered as a woman does not change us from being women. 
we have to remain who we are. 